Nityanandam, always seek for a spiritual solution. That is what Swamiji shared with us in yesterday's satsang. So in this video, I want to share a powerful cognition which will make you handle any situation in life from the space of spiritual solution. Um, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. If you don't have a result in whatever it is you want to manifest in your life, whether you want to manifest inner silence, wealth, shaktis, anything, if you do not have a result, it is because you are not in the space of seeking or the space of surrender. When you surrender, you manifest what you want. When you seek, you manifest what you want. If you are not manifesting what you want, like again, like Swamiji said, you know, whether it is enlightenment or whether it is winter tires for your car, whatever it is, if you do not manifest what you want, it means the click I got is that you are not authentic with yourself. And by authentic, I mean you have forgotten, or I should say you have um, decided to forget or avoiding to remember. If you watched the last video, you would understand why I'm saying that. Um, and if you don't, then watch the last video or at least just contemplate on these two words, very powerful words. Uh, but I would encourage you to watch the previous video about the subconscious mind. Um, if you're avoiding to remember or if you're deciding to forget, the space, that means you have, sorry, that means you have decided to forget or you are avoiding to remember the space of seeking and the space of prayerfulness, surrender, devotion. When you surrender, when you have devotion, you manifest. When you have seeking, you manifest. If it is not happening, it means you do not, you have lost seeking, you have lost surrender, devotion. So the step you have to do is to look in. We have to constantly look inside our inner space. What is happening? What are the thought currents which are uh, leading our inner space at that moment? Are they aligned to what we want? What is going on? We need to bring awareness and uh, bring light to our inner space and what is happening. We have to take responsibility for what is happening inside our inner space and realign it if necessary, if we feel that we need to. So looking in is always the first response if you face any form of problem or whatever actually in any situation in life, the first response should be looking in and finding that space of seeking and devotion surrender again and the scale to know if you're manifesting what you want is if you're uh, I'm sorry if the scale to uh, evaluate if you are um, in the space of seeking or in the space of surrender in the space of devotion is your capacity to manifest the more you manifest that means you are in that space more and more. The less you manifest, the less you are in that space. So in both situations, intense awareness of what is happening in our inner space is required. What are the thought currents which are happening, which are making you respond to life the way you respond to life, which are making you decide the decisions you make, which is making you uh, relate to existence in the way you relate to existence and relate to the Guru and everybody around you. So looking in is the first response and it's the last response. When you look in authentically within yourself, you will find the space of seeking, you will find the space of devotion, of surrender, and when you find it, you will simply manifest. So like that, we should not get in, we, that will persistence is very important. Yesterday Swamji was using the word resilience, which resonated with me. We need to have that resilience, that will persistence. Uh, we should not give up. That is why one of the, the definition of, of uh, prayerfulness or seeking, Swamiji said, is like intensity, intense awareness into our inner space, but at the same time having tremendous love and tremendous patience. So we should not give up on ourselves uh, when we are in that quest because, uh, because sometimes, you know, uh, some time is needed. It depends of how authentic we are with ourselves and how in tune we are with our self. So that's what I want to share in this video. Um, I hope it is clicking with you in the way that it clicked with me. 
uh, leave comments below whether it clicked or not, or perhaps you know if you had an experience where that can support this. But the spiritual solutions is the way. And uh, if you want to uh, follow me in my experience of living Sanatana Dharma with my Guru uh, Swamiji uh, Bhagwan Srinityanda Paramashivam, watch my videos. I upload many times a day and I share the powerful cognitions, the spiritual solutions and the, sp the spiritual strength that I have uh, manifested for myself since I have been a disciple of Swamiji, since I've been living with Swamiji, contemplating on what Swamiji is sharing and uh, you're contemplating on his life and the simple way that how he is existing. Swamiji is always in that space and being, feeling connected to him is allowing you to find that space back in you. Swamiji said, whether you know me, whether you know Paramashiva or whether you know you, these will lead to the same space of Paramashivoham. So it's all about knowing Swamiji, knowing Paramashiva or knowing ourselves. All three lead to the space of Paramashivoham. So with this, uh, like and subscribe and share with friends if you uh, feel this is useful. And it is, like I said, because anything in life we should always, the first response should be, let's look in Let's see what is happening in our inner space. Take responsibility for the thought currents happening inside, changing those that need to be changed if they need to be changed and uh, just work towards manifesting more and more. So with this, I'll see you in the next video.